Friday, this is the Brent and Alex show, and Alex and I will be giving you tips on how to bulk up. Yeah, and this is your, your host, Alex. So today, not only will we be talking about bulking up, but we'll also discuss a sample diet routine that we use, and also we'll be talking about what workouts you should do on a daily basis or on a weekly basis so that you can get to that bulky Hulk size that you're looking for. Yes, yes, the bulky Hulk size, like he said. And now we will be explaining the workout plan. Just bear with us real quick because we know we got our notes in front of us because we don't want to forget anything. So just bear with us. And um, right now we will be talking about the workout plan and what you should do to bulk up. So right now I have biceps. Now to pull your biceps, you want to do three sets of 10 bicep curls with a dumbbell. That way you can feel the tension in your arm. So definitely do that. And another thing too, with biceps, do three sets of 10 of hammer curls. And I'm telling you, that'll work. All right, yeah, and then I got triceps. For, so for triceps, you wanna do five sets of yeah. 10 reps with the tricep extensions on a cable. So you're gonna be using the tricep bar first. You use the bar, so you can use a straight bar. We personally, we use a V bar. So it's like a V shape. We'll put a, a picture up on the screen and you use that, keep your form right, make sure your posture is straight and come down and make sure it's constant tension on your triceps. And then for the second part of triceps, for our second exercise, we do the tricep rope. Yeah. So the rope is a little bit harder than the bar because it's not as stable. So you're gonna use the rope and keep yourself stable and just do the same constant tension with the rope. And you can and you can mix it up. So you can do tricep bar and superset it with the tricep rope. And that will give you a great pump and a great uh, burn on your triceps. Yep, that burn. <laughs> so now we're gonna do I'm gonna say back. Now your back and stuff, you do five sets of 10 wide grip seated cable row, which I know I've got some of y'all probably don't know. It's just, you know, just a bar where, you know, you're sitting, you know, right here and just doing this with your back. This, this is working out your whole back, you know, with the uh, wide grip cable. So that can, you know, work out your whole back right there. Then for another thing that we have. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. put the pictures up on the screen too, so you can see what we're talking about. Yes, we have demonstrations, you know, put pictures up so you know what we're talking about with that too. So, yep. All right, next is shoulders. So for shoulders, what we do are four sets of 10 shoulder shrugs. So same thing, keep the constant tension and use a good heavy weight so you can, it's gonna be hard for you to get to that 10th rep. Right, and then you can also do progressive overload each week. So uh, try to go for that 11th rep, then 12. And then usually for me, once I get up to 13 or 14, then I go up and wait to uh, the next five pounds. But um, also like something that we've been doing is we've reduced the weight so we can get a better constant tension. Because yes. sometimes when you go too heavy, you just, moving real fast and sometimes that's not really building up the muscle properly because you're trying to bulk right so you want to take your time so even right now we've we've reduced the weight a little bit and then for the second part of shoulders you want to do shoulder, uh, four sets of 10 shoulder press uh, on the machine four sets of 10 and you go up like that and like i said same thing progressive overload each week and uh, another thing you can do too is you can always change this around also. You know, if you want to do something that will isolate your side delts, your uh, rear delts, and your front delt, you can also switch it up to your lateral raises. You can do your front raises. You can do those too. But we stick to this shoulder press uh, and the shrugs for the shoulders. Yeah. Now the legs. I know a lot of people can't stand doing legs. But legs is the most important thing on your body you need to do. <laughs> yeah, don't skip leg day. <laughs> don't skip no leg day. Can't do that. So for legs, what we do, we do four sets of 10 leg press on a machine. I like using the machines. I know a lot of people like to squat, but me, I like to, uh, I feel like I'm more even on the machine where I can really feel the burn. Yeah. So I like to do four sets of 10 on a leg press machine. Then um, that's what Alex and I do. So. Another thing too, we do four sets of 10 with calf raises. And those really, you really feel that burn doing that. So yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, don't skip them calves because those calves, hey, when you're wearing shorts, they can pop in the summertime. So don't skip your calves either. Do your full legs. Full legs. I'm telling you, you want your body scoped. You want everything, you know, right. Yeah, exactly. And next up is chest. So for chest, we do four sets of 10 on the chest press machine. And basically that's similar to a bench press. You have both sides and you push, it's a chest press machine and it works your whole chest, the upper chest, middle and lower chest. And uh, like I said, progressive overload on that. And then also we do four sets of 10 on the chest fly machine. So you can either do with the cables and come in and do a fly, come in with the cables, or you can use the pec deck machine. They both work well, and like I said, it works the whole chest. You're just doing it in a different way, so you can cause it to bulk your chest to bulk up and get bigger. Yep. So I'm glad he said that too, and I'm gonna touch on the um, push-ups, the sit-ups. Really, you know, just do 60 push-ups and 60 sit-ups a day. That's basically what I'm gonna say with that. You know, that that's. You know, you're still getting your workout and doing that. Then another thing we're going to um, talk about is the meal plans that you should, you know, do with bulking up. So, yeah. So with a meal plan, you want to eat a lot of carbs. You want to eat about 300 to 400 grams of carbs per day and 200 grams of protein. Uh, we, I take a, we take a mass gainer, mm -hmm. or you can take a regular pr protein supplement if you're not getting enough protein in your food, uh, food intake. So we do that. And then also, so what are some things that you can eat uh, to get to that carb goal? You can eat brown rice, you can eat sweet potato, you can eat oatmeal or whole grain bread. Those are four different options that are healthy that you can eat each day to hit that carb goal. And like I said earlier, you might not be able to get enough protein just from regular meals. So that's why we add the supplement and the protein. Yeah. And another thing too, with carbs, when you're really trying to bulk up, you need to have at least 300 to 400 grams of carbs a day and 200 grams of protein. So, you know, that's, you know, a good thing of, you know, bulking up too. And another thing too, I know a lot of the average um, meals people eat is like three meals a day, but to increase to increase it, you want to do four meals a day, you know, to bulk up. Mm -hmm. So another thing I'm gonna say about that is, for instance, you know, for for breakfast, you can have uh, two or three boiled eggs with oatmeal, and for lunch you can have a pasta salad or you can eat regular pasta, either one. You know, we see in the pasta and that's a lot of carbs in that. And for uh, the third meal, if you want to, you do a turkey sandwich or a chicken breast sandwich. And for dinner, do a steak, sweet potato, spinach, and brown rice. And I'm telling you, if you eat that, if you eat it like that, you'll be bulking up quick. And don't forget your mass gainer. The mass gainer is going to really give you that size too. But you got to be, you know, in the gym hitting it heavy and eating these meals, eating at least about four meals a day and um, drinking your shake a day. So, you know, you get, me, you know, I take a mass gainer. I drink a shake a day, uh, do three scoops with 16 ounces of milk. And you'll get your size. You'll be ripped up and coming out your shirt. Yeah, exactly. And the thing about it is when you get in all these meals, that gives you extra energy in the gym so you can push for that progressive overload each week. And for progressive overload, you can either go up by an extra one or two reps or you can go up in weight. And you want to just do that each week so that you can get stronger and also that can really target the muscle and make it uncomfortable where it needs to grow. It's gonna be like, hey, we need to grow. That's what your muscle fibers will be like thinking basically, or that's how they operate. So they'll be wanting to grow just because you're putting in that extra effort each week at the gym. Yeah, and yeah, he just touched, you know, he just said that and stuff. And like I said, um, that's all folks with that. Um, look out for our other videos that's coming out. Um, like I said, subscribe to our channel. We're going to bring a lot of nice videos to y'all. We really are. So just be patient with us. We're going to put out a lot of videos. So stay tuned. And this is the Brett and Alex Show. And we appreciate, appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you. Yeah, we out. We out. We out.